So I'm back from the Apple Store with uh, iLife 11. So I'm going to go ahead and get it installed real quickly here, and then we'll go ahead and do a uh, review of some of the new features. Okay, the first thing we're going to take a look at is iMovie 11. Uh, it's the new update in iLife 11, and we're going to take a look at some of the new features that uh, Apple has incorporated into iMovie 11. One of the uh, features or special effects is movie trailers and I'll show you how that works. You'll come up here, you'll select a new project and you'll remember from um, past versions or the previous version of iMovie you have project themes you can choose from or you can select a movie trailer. Now uh, the way to look at this, this is a theme and I'll explain that to you in just a second. It's not so much a trailer but a theme that you have to work in. So let's take a look at the action trailer. So we'll select the action trailer and this is the project area that you'll work in. Again, this is now this is a theme more than an effect. So the limiting factor is is, is you have to work within this space once you've selected it. Just like when you select a theme, you have to work within that theme. So that's the the drawback of this. You have the storyboard that you can choose from where you'll uh, drag your clips into and you can edit them. And then um, you have the titles for each section of the movie trailer theme that you can change. So you can add clips, edit the titles, go to the outline, the movie name, the release year, and really you can use these as fillers for whatever you want. So if you're creating a, a title for um, just a movie without creating, uh, a re you don't have to put a release year in or a release season. You can change that to whatever you want. Then you go to your short list and it gives you an overview of everything you've created. Then again, you have the storyboard um, and then the outline. So again, the limiting factor to this is you have to work within this space. So if you want to add a special effect, for example, to the right there is the finish line name of the movie. It's the special effect. Um, let's go over here and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, storyboard. Let's go right here and we'll play the... Uh, intro here. So I can change that to this. This is an effect. And then play that. So if you wanted to add just that effect to one of the movies you've already created, you would have to create this first and then re-import that into a previous movie to add that effect. So again, this environment, the movie trailers, is a theme or an environment you have to work in. So it's very nice if you want to quick, quickly create all the cool effects that the movie trailers give you, the name of the movie, um, all the credits and everything else, but you can't use this or plug this in as an effect. The other drawback is you have to start from this this point. You can't uh, incorporate the movie trailer into a movie you've already created. That's the movie trailer um, feature or new feature that Apple's added to uh, iMovie 11. So the next new feature that we're going to look at in iMovie 11 is the uh, new audio editing feature. And you'll notice a new icon right here. And what it allows you to do is pull up the waveforms for your clips in your project window so we'll click that and I've um, detached my audio from the uh, videos right here so you can uh, see the uh, the uh, audio uh, detached from the video basically what the uh, new audio feature allows you to do is uh, adjust the um, volume of the clip by simply grabbing this bar right up here and either dragging it up and down and setting your volume level to a percentage of the baseline of the uh, recording. You can also do fade ins and fade outs right here. So we can take this, drag it over, and then it'll fade in. I'm back from the Apple Store with uh, iLife 11. So I'm going to go ahead and get it installed real quickly here. 
and then we'll go ahead and do a uh, review of some. One thing that you need to be careful of, of little, of little fader controls here, is if, if you drag them too far to the right or the left, um, they seem to get lost or they seem to go off the the board and it's hard to get them back. So you can you can fade in and fade out the audio, which is a, a great feature, and you can uh, do um, volume adjustments of the clip right from the uh, audio portion of the clip right here. Do um, the audio editing effect that's built into iMovie 11. So the uh, next new feature in iMovie 11 that we're going to look at is Instant Effects. We select a clip and come up here to your clip menu and you now have slow motion, fast forward, instant replay, jump cut, fade, and special effects. Now a lot of these uh, effects that um, you can do instantly in iMovie 11 you could do previously in uh, the previous version of iMovie with just a little bit of work. Uh, for example, we'll do the um, We'll do this, the flash and hold, select that, and it creates a flash and hold effect here. So it takes one of the uh, uh, frames from the clip that you've selected, adds a flash effect, and then <clears throat> applies a Ken Burns uh, effect to that clip. Now you could do this previously in iMovie, again, with just a little bit of extra work, but now you can do this on the fly with the uh, new... Uh, instant effects. Um, you also have you can select the speed of the instant replay 50, 25, and 10 percent. Uh, we'll, we'll select 50 percent. It then creates a, another clip without the audio at 50 percent of the speed and it let me play it here <clears throat> and it adds a uh, instant replay icon uh, to the top of the video. Some other uh, new effects, again, you can select 2, 4, 8, or 20 times the speed. Again, all of these special effects you could uh, create previously in iMovie with a little additional work, but now they're um, available just with a, a simple selection. In iMovie 11 is People Finder. Uh, it allows you to quickly find uh, parts of your clip that have uh, people in them. Another new feature are a couple new themes. Sports and news themes have been added to iMovie 11, so you can use those themes to uh, create your uh, movies. It gives you three additional methods for uh, uploading your video to Facebook, VMO, and CNN Reporter. Um, you could do this previously with iMovie with uh, having to go to the websites, but now it's been incorporated into the application. So all in all, I'm not uh, really too excited about the new features that have been added to iMovie 11. Uh, again, a lot of these uh, features uh, or effects you could do previously with just a little bit of additional work. Um, it's now, it's nice to have them uh, the ability to do these effects and features on the fly, um, but a lot of people, including myself, were expecting some more comprehensive uh, effects and upgrades to iMovie 11. Um, so is iMovie 11 worth the upgrade? Well, again, you're getting uh, iPhoto 11 and GarageBand 11 with the $49 upgrade, so um, for that price, I would say, yes, it's, up, it's worth the upgrade, comprehensive as everybody was hoping for. But for the person who uses iMovie 11 to do, uh, you know, just regular family videos, um, it's these new features and effects are uh, great additions. So that's been my uh, quick uh, review of iMovie 11. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping by and I'll talk to you later. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and helps build the community. Thanks.